Hi guys! My name is Maria and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to answer uh, one comment uh, asking for me to do a video about how to do the filing of a shop drawing. I hope I could answer your questions about the filing of a shop drawing. I am sorry for the noise because I am outside and here in the construction site. So it's very, very uh, loud no? and noisy. So after, after you upload it in the system, after you rename it correctly, and after everything, no, after everything it's done, then the last part is so filing about the... our topic uh, regarding on how to do the filing of a shop drawing. Um, I suggest that it is better to use a um, closed box file, okay? We have two types of box file. One, you are going to use puncher and one is like a closed box. You will just put it inside. For me, I'm using that one for all of the submittals so at least it's easy for me to um to search for the hard copies and all and there is no like punch or like uh something that will be when you punch it uh, like some words or something are been broken or damaged because of that two holes right so i use the close box i, I use this close box and I'm not making it full, okay? Because sometimes there are revisions coming along the way. So, again, you will adjust your um, box file, okay? For example, it's already in the box file number. Number 1 and all of a sudden, you already have number 2, 3, and 4. So, you need to adjust it. Because you need to insert uh, whatever are the revisions of that drawing. So... For me, uh, in a week, I am busy for a whole week, okay? But I need to finish. I need to finish filing, of course, because it your your office will be like messy if you put here and here and here. And you don't know. Many people are come and go in your office and you don't know. Maybe they take one paper or something. So you have to control all of your documents, especially the incoming and outgoing. So what I'm going to do, for example, in a week, no, I have one day. Uh, for example, I make it on Saturday or I make it on Thursday, uh, Thursday like this. So, for example, in the whole in the whole week, what I'm gonna do is I segregate per discipline because in shop in shop drawing we have um, a lot of discipline. We have civil, architectural, mechanical, electrical. Sometimes we have landscape also. We have MEP and all. So I need to segregate, and all of this have different uh, discipline and reference number. Okay, per discipline, uh, per discipline, uh, the reference are different to architectural for example civil it will be different to the architectural and electrical and mechanical something like that so what i'm gonna do every week i'll make it a segregate after i done everything for example i already rename it i already distribute it to the team uh, i already scan it and i serve it i save it in the system and in the server and the last part is filing so what i'm gonna do i segregate it per discipline and as per number so when the weekend comes okay it's easy for me it's easy for me to uh to put it in the box file because the box file will open it there is um then you put inside and then class okay and then on the side on the side of that a uh, filing box uh you will put the file number okay of course you have that um templates for that label for that box file of course you will put the logo of the projects and the name of the projects and this file box is number what okay for example this file number one and the reference okay of course you will write if this is under for example shop drawing for civil this is from uh it start to 001 to 0010 like this so one box file of that the next the next box of course if you still have uh shop drawings to file you have to put this file number two so when you put it in the cabinet okay in the cabinet or in the filing or wherever 
you put your box file okay you will make it like chronological order uh, box file number one two three four five so it's easy it's easy for you to uh, to do the filing and to search it whenever the engineer needs that hard copy or to check something uh, for that uh, file so it's easy for you um for me uh, I have like one room for all the uh, drawings and it's really not enough because there are so many so many so many uh, documents and submittals that you need to file no so for me I make it for example uh, this section are all shop drawing and that section are all material submittal and in that above on that uh, cabinet I put for example uh, this is a shop drawing civil or then the next uh, the next um, uh, filing cabinet this is shop drawing for architectural then the next one is electrical and mechanical okay this is for you for you to I mean for you to easy understand where are your documents okay you will not uh, mix it with material submittal like for example this corner is shop drawing and this corner is material submittal no it will be hard for you um, to check and because sometimes it always on a rush I need this one so you will not be um, where is my file so if you have put label label on the top of that cabinet so uh, it's easy for you and it's not it it will also be easy on your team for example they go inside your archive room it will be easy for them when they are searching for something for example you did not come in the office or you're busy and and they have their own like uh, they 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 can uh, search it on your archive room when they go inside uh, it is organized like um, this corner is like um, this is shop drawing or for example the one go inside uh, the archive room are electrical or mechanical so they know where are their uh, shop drawings they can easily find it in your archive room because that is our job to control the documents to organize the documents as per the type of uh, submittal so that's it that's uh, how uh, I file on the um, Mat on the shop door ring or any submittals okay i have this box file i put the label on it the logo of the cat of the project and i put it um for the no for the meantime for example uh if the project is um ongoing no it's still ongoing like in the start in the beginning of the project so uh, you cannot uh, fix one box file that this will become uh, file number one will start on 001 to 20 something like that because you don't know how many revisions uh, that will come along the way so you sometimes I put only by by hand I write, I write by hand by pencil or something and when it's totally fixed then I will I will uh, rename that uh, file box so meaning it is only on that number okay whatever whatever things happen this box number one is only for number uh, civil for 001 to 0020 and the next uh, box file will be for 0021 to 0030 something like that it should be like that so you have you don't need to uh, make one box file full because there are revisions uh, that always come along the way as per the site condition so i hope mr Syed anwar i answer your questions and your requests about how to do the uh, shop drawing um filing and the references so when you are filing the documents guys just think of it that you go inside a big uh, supermarket and you are new on that supermarket and uh, how you how you will search for something like you're gonna buy bread you're gonna you're gonna buy oil uh, oil cooking oil or fruits and fish something like that so when you go inside the big supermarket you see a lot of labels right so you will be guided same as your um, archive room make sure that it is organized and it is as per the types of material submittal for your um, 
uh, everyone for everyone to make it easier to find even you are not in the office even you are not busy they can easily find where are the documents so as usual if this is your first time to visit my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope that I could still help you and give you some ideas based on my own experience as a document controller bye bye guys and God bless thank you so much thank you so much for uh, supporting my channel. Bye-bye!